The end of Jeffree Star's YouTube era. Jeffree Star has been on YouTube for a really long time. Over the years, he accumulated millions of dollars on the platform, and his subscribers surged to over 15 million. His contents were mostly focused on makeup tutorials and product reviews. He was one of the most trusted beauty influencers, and whatever products he recommended would surely be a sellout. However, in the past few months, people have started to notice that Jeffree has changed. He was rarely seen on social media, though he still posted videos on his channel, he seemed so distant. No one cares about YouTube. Not one single person goes to watch it for enjoyment or fun anymore that I know anymore. Now, shocking information about him has been revealed. It looked like Jeffree Star's era would come to an end this year. He announced that he had plans to step away from the platform for good. He had two more videos left to post, and after the last one, we would never see anything new on his channel. Many were actually not surprised anymore because content creators, especially beauty gurus, were not as huge as before when makeup was a big thing. But still, Jeffrey had some other videos that were fun and interesting to watch. So what made him decide to quit YouTube? Did something life-changing happen? Jeffrey's good friend and fellow YouTuber Shane Dawson released the first episode of his new multi-part series about his and Jeffrey's lives post-cancellation in November last year. If you can recall, Shane and Jeffrey had been cancelled because of several reasons. This was their comeback series on YouTube. The first episode ended with Shane texting Jeffrey and asking him if he was allowed to show on YouTube their newest palette. Jeffrey suggested that it would be more impactful if they both talked face to face. I'm so excited to see you. I'm also really nervous because I can't believe we're going to show our baby. To feel so excited and then to have such disappointment has been a lot, so I'm ready to dive in. I'm nervous, I'm scared, but creating this felt so magical. It felt so right, and I think that the world deserves to see it. I'm so glad that you're finally coming here. I can't wait to talk about everything, and I'm so ready to just rip the band-aid off. So Shane and Ryland, Chris decided to fly to Wyoming to pay a visit to Jeffrey and see his ranch in Yaks. The second episode was originally titled The Retirement of Jeffrey Star, but was quickly changed to The New World of Jeffrey Star. In this episode, Shane informed Chris that he got a phone call from Jeffrey and that he was going to announce something unexpected. Shane was shocked by Jeffrey's revelation and he was pretty sure that Jeffrey's fans would be too. He was like, just letting you know, and then he said something that was something he wants to talk about tomorrow, which is so... I don't know how I feel about it. It's like it's going to be a thing for sure that people are going to be like, what? But also, I kind of disagree with him and I don't think it's a good idea. While Shane was packing his stuff, he admitted to Chris that he was nervous seeing Jeffrey. Jeffrey has a new life now, and there are no more scandals that surround him. He is living a quiet life, and Shane is afraid that he might do something that would create drama again with Jeffrey. Shane could also not stop talking about their new palette and was treating it like a classified file from the government. He was going on and on about how dangerous it could be if he ever lost it. When Shane, Ryland, and Chris arrived in Wyoming, they were picked up by Jeffrey and his assistant at the airport. They headed straight to Casper, where Jeffrey's ranch was. Jeffrey talked about how much has changed in his life now that he's in Wyoming. He was once a beauty guru, and now he's a yak farmer. He shared that he was glad that he was welcomed and accepted by the people who lived there. They were supportive of his yak business. He kept himself busy with pasture maintenance and feeding the community. He revealed that he's a distributor of yak meat to five restaurants. He also opened up about how he found it disgusting and ridiculous that he owned so many luxurious things and lived in a huge mansion. He sold his LA mansion after a year of being on the market. I wanted to be in the middle of nowhere, and my soul was telling me to be more grounded. I've moved really quickly from shedding things like I don't want, 5,000 purses anymore. I became so disgusted with it all and didn't want to be surrounded by all this materialistic crap. I just really had a whole self-realization moment and grew to the next level, like mentally. Jeffrey continued to post on his TikTok and YouTube, but most of his time was spent running his ranch and businesses. I post once a day, I don't look at the comments. Jeffrey tells Shane. Now I just post, live my life, and hang out with my animals and enjoy this effing nature. Jeffrey admitted that he was tired of constantly proving something to the people. He attained fame and fortune, but he felt that it was not enough. 
and he wanted more. It seemed that he wanted to be on top of his game all the time. People should see him as someone successful and unreachable. When Shane asked him what he wanted to say, Jeffrey quickly responded that he was quitting YouTube. He observed that there was a big shift in how people watch videos. He saw declining views about the beauty industry on YouTube. People now watch short video clips on TikTok. He confessed that he didn't like TikTok because it was what people liked and wanted. People don't go to YouTube anymore to see makeup collection reveals. They just go to TikTok. It's like YouTube for beauty is being MySpace. I'm not in love with it. It's not inspiring, but I think it can be fun. But I actually did enjoy long-form content. Jeffrey believed that he had done everything for his channel. He had nothing new to show to the people. We already did it all. I did every makeup review, every tutorial, every video, every surgery. We did effing makeup in hot air balloons and on a raft in Montana. Like who can top any of that like I already did it all. So it's time to hang up my hat and focus on other things. Shane was clearly sad about what Jeffrey said and perhaps, in a way, he understood him. People like TikTok more because it featured short videos. For Jeffrey, it was pointless to make videos that people didn't want to watch. Many content creators would agree with Jeffrey. They too experienced a decrease in their views in the past few years. YouTube was not as popular and hyped as before. Perhaps it was because of the pandemic. During the pandemic, people had nothing to do but sit at home and spend the whole day watching videos on YouTube. This was okay because they had no school or work, but once everything was fine, everyone wanted everything to happen quickly. They needed instant gratification. Jeffrey was used to having millions of views on his videos, and it saddened him that the views were getting lower each time he checked. But he still had pretty decent views for all his videos. Yes, the numbers were dropping, but that did not mean that people were also starting to leave YouTube. Perhaps Jeffrey's numbers were dwindling because he often took long breaks, and people assumed he no longer wanted to be on YouTube. Things were pretty tough for him in the past few years. Shane was trying to convince Jeffrey to stay on the platform, but it seemed that Jeffrey had made up his mind. He explained that he didn't find YouTube fun anymore. It isn't about being cancelled and not being popular enough anymore, it's just how you navigate in a new world. Reels and TikToks are the only things that get views, it's just not fun anymore. They took the fun out by making me the effing villain. Why would I be on a platform where people think I'm a piece of crap? Jeffrey might be quitting YouTube, but he assured Shane that he was not leaving other social media platforms. He was seen having a meeting with his social media manager about future TikTok videos. In the last minutes of the episode, Shane and Jeffrey share the story behind their new palette. According to Shane, they spent six months in the lab testing and creating new shades right before the pandemic. He shared that the reason the palette was not released was that after Jeffrey's cancellation, he didn't want to go back to social media anymore, but Shane forced him to try again. To be super honest, I didn't think I would ever make anything again at that point. So I told you, you take this palette and you can either put it out or you can repurpose the shades because they're so effing good. However, there were people who were skeptical about Jeffrey's decision to quit. It's unlikely that he would give up fame and the status he earned after all his hard work. If there's one thing great about him, it's that he's a hard worker and passionate about his interests. He deserved all the fame and fortune he got. People were saying that this was just a marketing strategy that Jeffrey and Shane came up with because they were launching a new palette. Once the palette hits the market and is well received by the people, Jeffrey will surely post a video using the palette. There are still no details on when the palette will be launched. But as of now, all Jeffrey wanted was his wonderful and peaceful life in Wyoming. He had already made plans for his business. He said, I really want to go full everything. I want to have a retail location and then I really want to make a healthy fast food restaurant, a simple menu, and it's all just yuck. What do you think of Jeffrey leaving YouTube? Will he really do it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Are you not entertained? If you are, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.